What has been the greatest challenge you've had to overcome? Or overcoming? <laughs> Still overcoming? I think yeah. the greatest challenge is really infiltrating into the Tanzanian community. But also specifically the challenge would be the guy selling dogs on the streets. Because it's a bigger challenge that, than what you and I think it is. Because we just see the dog being sold on the street. Um, and people think it's a very easy fix. We can just call the police. The police can take the dog away. And the people, you know, maybe they get put in jail for a night. Or maybe they, I don't know, I have no idea, pay a fine. But uh, in reality, there's an underground breeding operation happening. So there are actually thousands of dogs being bred and being sold. So taking away the, the ones on the streets superficially like that doesn't really make all that much of a difference. It makes a difference in those animals' lives that we see, but uh, getting deeper and, and getting really into the, the problem is, is education. So it's, yeah, that's something that we're, we'll continuously work on. Oh, and also, I guess another challenge is, you know, befriending the community. You know, we don't want, we don't want the community to think that we're uh, an authority figure in their lives. We want, we want to get people on our side. We want them to, to come in and, and see that there's a better way to do things and, you know, and, and kind of learn for, them, for themselves that uh, what they're doing isn't correct. You know, because whenever you, whenever you learn something yourself, it, it sticks longer than when you're just told that it's wrong. What are the perspectives on animal welfare? The perspectives on animal welfare from the local community? Yes. Okay. I think it's probably very similar to human to human welfare, but also human welfare isn't very high on the spectrum. So I think a lot of people, uh, you know, they think as long as the dog or cat has water and a little bit of food. Uh, that they're okay. I don't think that uh, there's much of, an, of a concept of veterinary medicine mm -hmm. across Tanzania. If we were thinking of Dar, it'd be a bit different, but uh, Tanzania is a really big place. And there's lots of villages. And there's so much rural land that there are uh, cats and dogs and donkeys living in. So, yeah, I, I think that it's uh, animal welfare across Tanzania isn't really that much <laughs> considered.